What's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Snap Political. Hope you are doing great. You're stepping into your calling. You're walking with purpose. And then let's tap in. Appreciate your support. You know I really do. And I love engaging with you guys in the comments. So keep letting me know what's going on and how you're feeling about it. And let's chat it up. Now, the video that I dropped before this one was talking about the benefits of illegal immigration. So let's look at this video because this should even make you more want to zoom in to who you're voting for for this next election. A heated response tonight from a Southside community where hundreds of migrants are about to be moved. Yeah, it's happening in Hyde Park. Tia Ewing has the explosive meeting tonight. In Chicago, y'all. Two buses showed up in the city of Chicago today carrying migrants, and we know at least for the week there's been four that have arrived here. And this is not the first time that migrants will call Hyde Park home. 120 lived at the Lakeshore Hotel in January and also March. Most residents didn't know anything about it, and this is the first wow. time they are sounding off. I don't want them there. Take them someplace else or send them back to Venezuela. I don't care where they go. Well, you heard her, and I can truly understand their anger, their frustration, and their fury, and they have a right to speak out. This is where they live. They pay taxes. They commute. They travel. They shop. They frequent this area, so you doggone right. Get up, people. Open up your mouth and speak up for a worthy cause. That's your community. This is wrong. You got 73% of the people homeless in this city are black people. What have you done for them? Mm. There were lots of fireworks. You Over the migrants moving into the Lakeshore Hotel for six months, where 300 can be housed. Also, the city says it's a fluid situation. I mean, when he decided not to sign the paperwork or whatever he needed to put in place, the bill, so this would not happen, did he even have a plan for what people would be doing, where they would go, housed, while the process is going for the paperwork? I mean, need to revisit that timeline. Even the alderman, Desmond Yancey of the 5th Ward, says he just found out about it last week. I found out on Wednesday, called a meeting immediately. I don't know what happened before I got here. But in the spirit of transparency, this is why we're in a room, because I felt it was important for community members to know what was going on in their neighborhood even if the mayor's office wasn't willing to. And even if the mayor's office wasn't willing to, now that don't make no sense. What's wrong with these people that have been elected? Only inside the promontory, residents had a lot of questions about police patrols, the change noticed in communities where migrants currently are, and the future plans for dealing with the migrant crisis. That's just Plymouth Court and Van Buren. That site looks like a, basically a bomb went off. So I'm concerned about the sites where the migrants are. We have shelter rules that we uh, implement across the sites. New arrivals must wait 150 days to apply for a work permit. Those on the front line of dealing with this crisis says. So when they get over here, they still have to wait 150 days before they can apply for a permit. That's five months. That's five months of being displaced in your city, in your community. Okay, so that's applying for the permit. You gotta wait for the permit to come in line with all them other folks in front of you. Come on, good people. Part of the solution is getting migrants seeking asylum work. Without some remedies from the federal action, whether it's funding or the ability for folks to work, we find ourselves in a hole. And despite the overall response from residents, come this Friday, that is the earliest that migrants will start moving in to the hotel. From Hyde Park, Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago. This is happening all over the U.S., guys. So what do you say about this? I mean, how do you feel about this in your city, in your state? Is it impacting you? Is it impacting your your downtown area? Is this impacting a neighborhood near you? I mean, it, don't act like it's not going to impact you because it will. The, the bus loads are continuously coming. They have not stopped. So be on the lookout for a bus coming near you. Guys, you better wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. If now is not a time to get involved and pay attention to who you are voting for and what these people, I mean, and it's like, I know we say, okay, well, we can vote people 
people in office and then they they do exactly opposite of what they say. We have to scrutinize their um, their walk. We have to scrutinize their history, the things that they've done since they have been in office. And those people who are new to the political arena, who don't come from the political sector, we have to go back and scrutinize some things that they've done in their sect and what they say that they're going to do for us. You know, it's all a risk, good people. We already know that it's all a risk. When you have to put the fate of the world, of the country, in the hands of a human, beings to run this thing, there are going to be some mistakes. But you still, at the end of the day, want someone who at heart cares about other human beings and the rights for its citizens and making it a place for everyone in the country to be able to benefit for the most part. You're not going to be able to please everybody. But we want someone who is going to have our benefit as a whole at heart for the most part good people and right now it, this ain't it this ain't it at all i'm very displeased and you should be too all right guys give me some feedback let me know how you're feeling thank you so much keep pursuing your goals and dream guys you know I, I like to sprinkle in a little positivity as we go along the way stay focused on your goals and dreams don't get sidetracked challenges may come but keep pushing and make sure most importantly you have the right people in your space love you guys subscribe and i'll see you on the next video and i truly appreciate your support yeah